So the Wall Street Journal published an op-ed, and I really don't have to give you much setup. I think that the article title itself says a lot. Quote, Hillary Clinton's 2024 election comeback. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have become unpopular. It may be time for a change candidate. (laughs) (laughs) Makes sense. I honestly feel like reading that headline um, makes me want to hurl myself off a cliff in Roblox. But uh, this isn't some sort of Republican operative doing a sort of Pied Piper strategy, albeit for Democrats, propping up a weak opponent that they think they can easily beat in 2024. This is somebody who is a Democratic ally, unironically making the case for Hillary Clinton in 2024. They think that maybe Hillary Clinton has a shot at taking on the presumptive nominee in 2024 on the GOP side, Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. I wonder how that would shake out. Hmm. I wonder how that would go. Would Hillary Clinton fare better against Donald Trump than Joe Biden? I really wish there was some way of knowing. I'm losing my mind, people. (laughs) I'm just so sick of this. So uh, let's dive into the article. This is written by Douglas Schoen and Andrew Stein. And here's their argument. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have become unpopular. It may be time for a change candidate. Several circumstances. President Biden's low approval rating, doubts over his capacity to run for re-election at 82, Vice President Kamala Harris's unpopularity, and the absence of another strong Democrat to lead the ticket in 2024 have created a leadership vacuum in the party, which Mrs. Clinton viably could fill. If Democrats lose control of Congress in 2022, Mrs. Clinton can use the party's loss as a basis to run for president again, enabling her to claim the title of change candidate (laughs) this is so stupid based on her latest public statements it's clear that mrs clinton not only recognizes her position as a potential front runner but also is setting up a process to help her decide whether or not to run for president again she recently warned of the electoral consequences in the 2022 midterms if the democratic party continues to align itself with its progressive wing and urge democrats to reject far-left positions that isolate key segments of the electorate. I don't even know where to begin. This honestly gives me a headache. Reading this, I don't know what to say about this. It's so stupid that you can't fault me for thinking that this was sarcasm or even satire at first. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Hillary Clinton is a change candidate in the sense that Biden has gone too far left and he's aligned too much with the left wing of the party. So she'd be the change candidate in the way that Bill Clinton was the change candidate. And she's going to opt for triangulation where you have a more conservative approach and you work with Republicans. I I mean, isn't this what Joe Biden ran on? Isn't this what corporate Democrats uh, cited as the core reason, aside from electability, as to why we should support Joe Biden? Because he would be a more moderate candidate? I just, I, I, I'm so sick of this. This is stupidity. The, the authors who wrote this, they genuinely should feel bad. Like, after seeing everybody dunk on them for this, I hope that they actually feel bad. Because to put this out there is just... It's so stupid. And when are we going to move on from Hillary Clinton? America is just not that into her. She lost. She ran a million times and she lost. I don't know what you expect. I mean, do you honestly think that if she ran again, all of a sudden Americans would embrace her and she'd be more likable and she could beat Donald Trump after already losing to him? I just, I don't get what their expectation is here. Maybe they want Donald Trump to win. That's why they're floating this. Maybe this is Democrat uh, operatives who have flipped sides and they want to prop up Hillary Clinton to help Donald Trump. I don't know, but this is fucking idiotic and there's no polite way to talk about this. This is just stupid. And the people who have uh, written this, they should be made fun of. The article continues, given the likelihood that Democrats will lose control of Congress in 2022, we can anticipate that Mrs. Clinton will begin shortly after the midterms to position herself as an experienced candidate capable of leading Democrats on a new and more successful path. Mrs. Clinton can spend the time between now and midterms doing what the Clinton administration did after the Democrats blowout defeat in the 1994 midterms, crafting a moderate agenda on both domestic and foreign policy. This agenda could show that Mrs. Clinton is the only credible alternative to Mr. Biden, Ms. Harris, and the entire Democratic Party establishment. Hillary Clinton remains ambitious, outspoken, and convinced that if not for the Federal Bureau of Investigation Director, James Comey's intervention and Russian interference, that she would have won the 2016 election, and she may be right. If Democrats want a fighting chance at winning the presidency in 2024, Mrs. Clinton is likely their best option. 
brain rot. This is just brain rot. And I just have to go back to Joe Biden and the Democratic Party establishment currently supposedly kowtowing to the left. What have they done to appease the left? We didn't get Build Back Better. Joe Biden could use his pen to sign an executive order that cancels all student debt. He wouldn't support Medicare for all. He supported a public option, and he hasn't even mentioned health care, so we can't even get that. In what ways has the Democratic Party establishment even tried to placate the left? Because all we've got at this point are fuck yous from the Democratic Party establishment. So I just feel like this is delusional. This is GOP apologia. He's just advocating for Hillary Clinton to get in there and do the Republican Party's agenda. That's basically what Joe Biden is doing, you fucking morons. I just, I don't know. This is, this is just, reading this article honestly makes me feel like my brain is rotting out of my ears. I, I just can't take it. I, I can't take it. The discourse will never move on in American politics. It will always be Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, Pete Buttigieg, and will cycle between a couple of ghouls. Uh, they'll each take turns at trying to fulfill their, you know, dream of becoming president. They'll fuck up, and then the next one will come in. Ted Cruz will come in. I'm just sick of all of these opportunists. I mean, what is it going to take to get these fucking ghouls to just go away? Do we have to set up some sort of, like, pseudo-presidency and let them all be president for, like, a week? Just take turns? I mean, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should just let Hillary Clinton, Pete Buttigieg, Kamala Harris all be president for a week just so that way they can say that they did it and they could put that on their resume and then maybe they'll fuck off because it's so frustrating it's clear that these folks don't have any intent on helping the american people they just they never go away they always linger they'll never like they're like fucking leeches they suck the life out of the democratic party strip all the enthusiasm out of the democratic party's base and once they've finished feeding off of the democratic party and the country then they come back and say well you know you should have listened to me after i fucked up i'm the one who you should be listening to I already ran this, you know, conservative campaign, but this time if I do it again, it'll definitely not only lead to me being elected, but it'll succeed electorally once I'm in office. I just, this is, this is pretty delusional. Now, I said at the beginning of the video that initially I thought that a Republican operative had written this article because it just, it's that stupid, but no, here's who wrote this. Mr. Schoen is founder and partner in Schoen Cooperman Research, a polling and consulting firm whose past clients include Bill Clinton and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Mr. Stein is a former New York City Council President, Manhattan Bureau President, and State Assemblyman. So when you read that, it makes sense. This is a consultant who's writing this and a member of the Democratic Party establishment in uh, New York. Honestly, consultants who the Democratic Party hires, they are the dumbest fucking people in the country. And I say that unironically. I say that uh, comparing them maybe perhaps to the intelligence of QAnon followers. That's the, that's the only people who I think they rival in terms of intelligence. You know, I, I don't know. Is it QAnon followers or Democratic Party consultants? I don't know who's who's dumber, honestly. And I'm I, like, I'm not being facetious. I, I literally mean that. These are the dumbest fucking people. And I just, yeah, Bill Clinton, Michael Bloomberg, makes sense. These are right-wing Democratic Party people who don't like that the party is... Uh, being taken over, I guess, by the left. Uh, it, it, this is supposed to be a Big Ten party, according to them, but they don't like that there's at least a few more people who are left-wing in Congress. And just the fact that people like AOC and Ilhan Omar exist, they don't like that. So they just pretend as if it's the case that all Democrats have shifted to the left and they're kowtowing to the left when that's not true. And then they float someone like Hillary Clinton for 2024. I don't know. If we let her be president for... One term, will she go away? I mean, what is it going to take? When are we going to fucking move on from Hillary fucking Clinton? I'm losing it. I can't. And right as I'm about to finish recording this, uh, I see this headline from Thomas Friedman in the New York Times. Biden-Cheney 2024? Folks, maybe it's time to just give up on America. I <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just fucking exhausted. I can't take this anymore. My brain is rotting out of my fucking ears. I'm just, I'm miserable. Make it stop, please. Holy shit, make it stop. Fuck me. Biden Cheney 2024. It makes Hillary 2024 sound better. I just, I can't take it. I'm gonna come. Do not come, come, come.
Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come. Come.